alongside by UFC welterweight contender from England. It is Dan Hardy. Dan, thanks so much for joining us. UFC 100 weekend. Tell me your thoughts on what is truly a symbolic weekend for the sport of mixed martial arts. It's going to be awesome. It's the best card the UFC have ever put together. Um, every fight on the card's competitive, and uh, everyone's got the potential to be fighting the night. Now, Dan, tell me, your last fight was against Marcus Davis. What a ruckus crowd that was. It was a highly anticipated matchup. You got into his head a little bit. Mm -hmm. You got the victory by way of split decision, but obviously a very hard-fought battle. Tell me your thoughts on that fight. I mean, there's some controversy going on. Marcus is saying that he won the fight, but, uh, you know, will there be a rematch? I, I don't know. That's up to the UFC. Um, I, I'm looking forward to moving on and fighting someone different now. Um, but it, you know, it really depends on, on what the UFC want to do with me. If they want, want me to fight them again, then that's what will happen. Um, me personally, I was surprised it was a split decision. I thought I did enough to get, get the unanimous uh, decision. But at the same time, I'm very disappointed I didn't get a chance to knock him out because I was very confident I could do that. Can you let us know, did you feel you got into his head because you were talking a lot and you were both going back and forth, but it seemed like you initiated the conversation back and forth and there was a lot of rhetoric that happened between the two camps. Did you feel you got into his head? Uh, I think so, a little bit, yeah. I think he's actually admitted that uh, I was in his head a little bit for the fight. Um, and that was part of the game plan, you know, to try and throw him off and uh, make him a little more aggressive and, and a little less calculated. Um, and I think it, I think it worked. Um, you know, obviously some of the things that I said really upset him and uh, he's still quite bitter about it, but, you know, it's part of the sport. You know, I think uh, people need to realise that, you know, at this level you need every advantage you can get and uh, that was one I thought that was necessary. How much did training with Freddie Roach help you out in that fight? Because we saw you at the Wild Card Gym learning a lot and it seems like your striking has grown so much since coming under the tutelage of Freddie Roach. Yeah, he certainly helped out. I mean, I, I've got a great Thai boxing coach I've been working with for a long time, but... Uh, Freddie brought a few different elements to my game. Um, you know, the, the the short left hook I kept using in the fight against Marcus was uh, was something that I've been working on with Freddie Roach, um, and actually something that Manny Pacquiao used against uh, Ricky Hatton because um, we were both training for the for a fight at a similar time. So um, there were a lot of crossovers, obviously, with me fighting a southpaw and, and uh, Manny being a southpaw. Um, yeah, there were a lot of things that he added to the, to my game, you know, some footwork drills and things like that that I've used and, and you know, have been successful for me. Who would you like to go head-to-head -head against in the UFC welterweight division? If there's one person that you could step inside the octagon with, who would that be? That's that's a difficult question. Um, I mean, there are so many good guys in, in the division and, and so many good uh, guys that would be, a, you know, a good test for me and a good win on my record. Um, at this point, I'm just I'm just, you know, looking forward to seeing who the UFC pick out for me. Um, a lot of names keep coming up, but right now I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, just, uh, I'm just looking forward to seeing who they pick. The UFC has really made a big impact and has been focused on expansion in Europe and the UK. How popular has the UFC and mixed martial arts gotten in, in your native, the United Kingdom and in England? Um, it, it's huge. Uh, I think the Ultimate Fighter uh, has helped with that. Um, obviously, Mike Bisping winning uh, the, the Ultimate Fighter, and then, you know, as having a UK team that, that took both contracts, um, I certainly think that's that's going to help with the popularity. But the, the UK fans have embraced it, and it's it's really growing massively now. GSP or Tiago, who wins the UFC welterweight battle tomorrow night? Uh, I'm I'm picking GSP by decision, but if if uh, Alves keeps it on the feet, I think he can knock him out. It's it's a tough fight. I mean, I was really leaning towards GSP at the start of the week, but after watching the countdown show, it's uh, it's going to be a lot more competitive. I think. Dan, good luck. We'll see you in the future. Thank you. Dan Hardy joining us. Thanks Thank a lot, you. Dan. Appreciate it.